everyone, Julia Watts here. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. So today uh, I thought that we would uh, look at some fairy hog stamps and create a scene for uh, my journal from this. So um, let's just crack on and uh, see what happens. Do have a plan in mind, uh, but whether we actually follow that plan or not is another matter. So um, here you can see we've got all of the products available at juliawattscrafts.co.uk and uh, this is the Distress Oxide background. It's uh, definitely got abandoned coral on it and maybe a bit kitsch flamingo, it doesn't really matter. Um, there is a YouTube video that shows you how to create that on my channel. So let's just do a bit of ground uh, to start us off. So we want a bit of torn card here and we're going to just do a bit of grounding. And I think because we're do doing oranges in the background, I think we go for a brown. And I am using um, Distress Ink. Uh, I've just got my little ones out because then... Um, I can have more choice in front of me. And this is a uh, brushed corduroy. I'm just using one of the Crafts 2 blending brushes. I do have blending brushes on my website. Uh, I have the ones from some the ones from Studio Light, and I've also got these the Crafts 2 ones as well. I am quite impatient when I'm doing this. You can see we are getting some ground going on. And I am using Distress Ink because I just prefer to stamp on top of Distress Ink rather than Distress Oxide. So we've got some ground going on there. We can actually layer it a little bit if we want to. So maybe uh, maybe choose a different shape there. And we do a lighter one on top. Because that's going to be in the background. Can you see that? So that, that gives us a little bit of grounding rather than having the characters that we're going to be using floating on air. So let's do that. Let's bring that out of the way. It's good to, I mean, that's just watercolour card that I've used for that. And uh, it's good to have a few different pieces of that. Uh, sometimes you'll find that, say, if you were using it green and you put uh, purple on top, you can drag some of the green back in again. But, it, you know, it's ground, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go into, in fact, let's do a little bit of stenciling as well, actually, because we can. And let's go for, I'm not sure how much this will show up, but I don't want it to be, actually, I was going to go salt water taffy, but let's go a bit of pit raspberry, because, no, salt water taffy, decisions, decisions. I don't know how much this will show up because I think salt water tap is a bit lighter than the others, but I don't want this to be prominent. And this is the fairy hug, fairy um, flower vines, it's called from Fairy Hugs. I had to think then. Let me see if we've got any colour coming through or whether. Oh, we have. It's nice. I'll show you in a second. So obviously this is a this is a, a six by six stencil and it's not going to show um it's not going to be big enough but obviously we're just going a little bit random again we're just putting some pattern in the background so the background's not particularly empty i am thinking that i might want to bring a moon in as well so you can just about see that the camera's picking it up really nicely so that's salt water taffy Again, distressing, and obviously that's going to clean up our stencil really quickly. If there's anything from Fairy Hugs that um, you want and it's marked as out of stock at the moment, then uh, just click on the email when available button, and as soon as I have it back in stock, you'll be notified. I do tend to carry pretty much the entire catalogue from Fairy Hugs. There's a couple of lines that I've discontinued um, and um, I'm always getting new stock in. So we're going to our stamping platform now. And this is the Press to Impress, which I don't have in stock at the moment. I need to fix that. Ooh, that was a 
do have these papers in stocks that, that uh, keep your um, platform nice and clean. So let's have a moon. Nice seven mini magnets. I have got spare magnets. I've got this one, the Bass and Creative one. So I'm thinking we're going to bring a spooky moon in. Now I am going to be using the um, Fairy Library. So that's going to come in here. So we might want to have Spooky Moon. Magu's going to come in as well. Let's see where he's going to sit. Magu's going to sit there. Let's should, let's should we have a moon there. We need to make sure we can get the sentiment in there. Planning, planning, planning. Always changes. Oh, bit right. So let's take these out, and that's where our spooky moon's going to be. So the spooky moons come in a set. There's four in the set. And as you can see, you've got two decorative ones and then two solids. And the idea is that if you want to, you can put, do a lighter colour and stamp over uh, with the decorative one if you want to. Or you can just use them singly, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to use this detailed one. I really like this one. And I'm going to go for um, Morning Mist Burst Fine Clear, which is the grey. So it's going to be lighter than the other areas we're going to stamp with. It doesn't have to be perfect. But as long as we've got some moon detail. There we go. I think that's, that's good enough, although it's not. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to have a little bit more ink on that there. Don't have to, but I'm going to. That's the beauty of the stamping platform. That's better. Okay, so that's our spooky moon. So we're really just setting our scene for our main characters that are going to come and be added to it. Don't forget you can find all the products over on my website for shipping to UK addresses. If you live outside of the UK, there are other stockists in the world, um, but Fairy Hogs themselves do actually ship worldwide. So that, that one's fairyhogs.com. Where are we going now? Let's think. Let's put our main one of my main pieces on so i'm just jutting this right the way into the corner and then we're going to bring in our fairy library I'll put down somewhere love 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 the uh book collection of fairy hugs there's a snail library uh there's a tree of knowledge there's all sorts there's there's, a, there's little steps little ladders that go up the books that lead to the library we need to make sure that we're going to have enough room to stick everybody on. Magu will go off the page a little bit. We need to make sure that Olivia can sit <coughs> leaning up against the books and, and talking to him. So I think that'll be okay. So we're just going to go off the page slightly, making sure the ladder's at the bottom. Obviously, we put our ground in there so we know that we're nice and grounded. And I think, actually, instead of stamping in black, I think we'll stamp in a brown. Just for a change, and we're going to use Acorn Burst Fine Clear. I'm going to ink it all up because I don't know where we're falling off the page. You want a good, juicy ink pad. Fairy Hug stamps are photopolymer stamps. They're high quality photopolymer and manufactured in the USA. And uh, aside from when the stamps are, at, are on Crate and Craft TV, uh, I am actually the only UK stockist. And I, like I say, I do have virtually the whole catalogue. So there's well over, um, I think it's 700 stamps now. 
that are in the catalogue. Well, it might be 650. I'm not sure. There's a lot. And they're a great collection. Here we go again. Because this watercolour card, I'm on super smooth watercolour card from Sentimentally Yours here. And it's quite absorbent. And I've not used this stamp for a little while, so I need to just do it a second time with a really good press. It's highly detailed stamp. You've got flowers in here, you've got the little lanterns, you've got a bookmark coming out here. Talking of bookmarks, these, these stamps are great on tags and you can use those as bookmarks. My daughter's got loads of them. Okay, I'm happy with that. Don't take it off your platform until you're actually happy with your stamped image. Unless you'll not necessarily be able to line it up again. I keep all of mine in their sleeves with the number written at the top and um, so I can just flick through and find the ones that I want. So let's bring in Magu now. So we move that over to this side and now Magu's going to come in here <laughs> and he's going to be slightly off the page on the other side. So like I said, I've cut this to five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and it's going to fit in my journal so let's see how much he needs to come off he doesn't need to come off that much actually and i have another magnet just down there to keep that in place he's always sitting very intently listening to whoever wants to tell him a story Sometimes it's little Lorella. There's another one of our um, fairies that was in this release. Oh, one acorn. So I'm going to go with brown again. The acorn. And again, I'll probably need to stamp him a couple of times because of the silhouette element in him. He's quite a laid back dragon, is Magu. We can definitely intensify where the tra the tail has, has gone over the top of the moon and so we want this to be more dominant than the moon which is why I tend to go with the versifying clay. I don't normally tend to stamp it twice so it's a little bit darker than I normally like. That's my fault. There's always something to learn. He's a really good size stamp. In fact, both the library and the Magu are really good size stamps. There we are. And the Magu measures, trying to get my ruler dirty, uh, about three and three quarter inches tall. So yeah, he is quite a large stamp. Bring off some of the excess ink. Olivia, I've already gone ahead and I've actually stamped her on a piece of the Sentiment to Yours watercolour card and so she can just sit on there like that because obviously if I stamp her, uh, her wings are going to be all messed up there. Um, you could um, uh, stamp her and then mask her off. Uh, it swings and roundabouts really as to what you choose to do but I've gone with um, one that's cut out so she can be leaning against the book reading to Maggie telling him a right old story and let's get our sentiment in 
next. So I don't need to stamp Olivia because I've already done her. So we've got there's two uh, great sentiments within the um, book release. There's this one, which is between the pages. And there's also Relax, which is another really great sentiment. So let's figure out where we want that to be. Let's put it there, I think. Or should we go right the way up? Let's go right the way up. And then when we bring foliage in, we just bring foliage in from both sides. In fact, let's just butt it up against the corner. I'm more comfortable with everything butted up against the corner because then I know I can put it back again. And I think we'll go for black with this rather than the brown. So we're on the Nocturne first fine clear. I think this has been one of the most popular collections. Interestingly enough, the Halloween collection was super, super popular as well. So do, um, if you're into Halloween, do have a look at that. There's also the rooftops in the Halloween collection, which is great for um, Christmas cards. There we go, so there's our sentiment. Between the pages of a book is a lovely place to be. Couldn't agree more. Then we want to kind of dress it up with a little bit of foliage. So we will come out of our platform now. Make sure the paints don't ping onto each other. And we'll start to use a block for this now. <clears throat> right, so I'm thinking we want some foliage coming in here, maybe a little bit in here. We might have a little bit going on in the bottom as well. So I've got two foliage sets that I'm thinking about using. We've got the frilly bran branches and we've also got the hanging vines as well. So let's start with the hanging vines and we'll have that at the top. And I'll go for the bigger one. There's also the flower vines, which is a really, really useful um, one to have. What should we go with? Uh, should we bring in some green? Shady Lane, which is this one. And I'm going to be stamping off of the page a bit. So let's just grab a piece of copper paper so I don't have to do any clearing up. Why clear up if you don't want need to? So if we're actually stamping the whole thing, I'll show you what the whole thing looks like because you can't appreciate what it's like until you see it stamped. So this is your vine, the bigger one. Oh, been a while since I've stamped this. Let's stamp it properly. That'd be a good idea. If you're stamping on the block, it's sometimes a good idea to test and make sure that you're actually stamping it really well. Because I'm not actually stamping it very well there, am I? I need to press there. There it is. <laughs> so. Let, we only want the top of this though. So we're just going to bring in some vines. Cascading along the top. Like so. We'll bring in a little bit here. And let's go over the moon a little bit. And just bring in a little bit at the top. Okay, so let's frame that at the top. And I think we're bringing some frilly branches at the bottom. It's totally optional as to whether you use your foliage or not. Um, I did, the Fairy Hugs do a really good selection of foliage stamps, so it's nice to use them too. So you've got right and a left here, so it creates a bit of an arbor. But obviously, we only need to use one. So let's use the dirtiest one, just because we can. So again, let's just have a look at this one. Let's see if I can stamp this one well. 
You can, of course, um, take all your magnets out of your platform and just stamp on the sponge on there, which is a nice thing to do. Gives you a bit of extra um, sponge, but that is really, really pretty stamp. Let's show you a bit closer. Really pretty stamp. But we're just going to add a little bit of foliage at the bottom, just with the top again. You could bring in some of the tiny mushrooms, which would be quite nice. Um, just to add a little bit of interest. So you can see I'm just bringing in the foliage just at the bottom, like that. So it's just a little row of foliage. So to finish this off, all I would do, and, and I, will sh I will do this, I'll, I'll pause and then we'll add it in at the end. I would add some colour, pop her in there like that. Let's bring her up a bit so you can see. So definitely cover, colour everything in um, and then uh, pop it into my journal. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget, everything's available at juliawattscrafts.co.uk and uh, do check out my other videos. Um, like I say, I will colour it in and it'll be probably on the front of your, um, your, your the selection <laughs> of the video, whatever the term is. <laughs> or if I can figure out how to end, add it to the end of this, I'll pop it on the end of this as well. Um, um, thanks for watching and do remember to check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks a lot then. Bye. Right, so I'm just popping by to, uh, at the end of the video just to show you what the scene would look like coloured in. And so I've just added some um, watercolour blending brush pens from Sentimentally Yours and just added some extra detail. And I've glued um, Olivia here uh, in place. I also added just a little bit more of the um, Fairy Hugs Flower Vine stencil so that that space wasn't empty there. There's lots of things that you can do um, to change this. You could have, have the fairy wind coming out of the chimney. Uh, you could have the flying bats, the flying butterflies. You could have some something coming out of Magu um, to kind of represent fire. Again, you could use the fairy wind. There's other things that you can use as well. So um, that's the scene as is. I thought I'd just show you a few from my journal. Um, because I, you know, absolutely love this uh, this collection with the books, um, and they're just variations and using some of the other um, pieces from or the other stamps from the collection. This one's got the fairy dictionary just in the background. I don't know if you can just about make that out just slightly. These are the book flowers. Olivia here is sitting on the top of the uh, path of knowledge, and this is the tree of knowledge here. And that's that other sentiment I told you about, the relax sentiment. So you can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book. Great for um, bookmarks, as I said. And this is your dandelion grass here. Uh, then we've got, this is Alina, and she's sat on the stack of books. Um, just reading patiently, quietly. Uh, this is what I said. So this is the uh, butterflies here coming out of the chimney, and the um, because it's a magical uh, fairy library, it's suspended in air, and we've got the pathway, um, the the path of knowledge going up to it there. Again, the fairy dictionary in the background. It's quite good to look back on journals actually, because um, then you kind of realise just how much potential there is in the collection. This is the open book, and Magu's kind of flicking through the open book, I suppose. He's having a good old read. And don't forget, you can split your um, sentiments up. This is the Fairy Liana, which is a lovely foliage stamp. Um, and then we've got Lorella here. She was part of that release. She's sitting on the... Um, I think this is called Dogwood Blossom. I'm not sure about that one. It's definitely on my website anyway. And um, Alina is actually reading to her um, on the stack of books. That's what I reckon anyway. 
and this is um i think it's called lily branch or lily flowers something like that um just around the edge again we've got um the tree of knowledge here and this is kira and she's sitting on the fairy hammock those are two separate stamps there um olivia can be perched up against loads of different things if you cut her out uh, see here i've left the um sort of little tendrils at the top of her wings but here on this project so i cut them off so you can give her a couple of different looks and this is the snail library which is a really cool um stamp from the set little condo dwellers fairy liana again um this is the whimsical uh, flower cluster and then we've got again um Kira sitting in the fairy hammock and this is this ground here is just the top of the tree of knowledge uh, again fairy library fairy liana and then the uh, dictionary in the background with the relaxed sentiments lots and lots of magical scenes Lorella she perches on lots of different things on the open book she's waiting for the fairy library to come along uh, the wisdom is a really good um, sentiment to use with this collection Again, Lorella in the open book with Magu coming to see her. This is your cherry blossom at the bottom. And then we flip through, we've got some more here. Um, again, um, Olivia sitting on the base at the base of the tree of knowledge. Uh, we've got the uh, flying uh, owl here and the uh, fawn and uh, doe here. Uh, Magu again. This time Kira's sitting at the base of the um, Tree of Knowledge and uh, this I think this is Dixie from Pixie, Trixie and Dixie, three separate stamps. Uh, this is your um, um, Fairy Lantern Branch I think it's called. So many stamps, I, I lose track of them all. And then finally I'll just show you this one here. So this is very much uh, the same as um, well some of the other ones that we've got. Oh, there's some more here, look, Hoots sitting on top of the fairy library here. See, you, you just change them with just one stamp. And there's another one here. Um, this is Jada sitting on the toadstool and she's waiting, I suppose, for the library to open. Who knows? Um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to show you this one because um, I've used um, just the kind of, um, the dust from the moon dust. It's, it's one stamp and I've just cut mine up. And so you can have that coming out of Magu's mouth if you want to. So it's sort of magical. So, you know, similar scene, different colours, but you can just change him up with things that, you you know, coming out of his mouth if you want to. So there's a few ideas of how you can use the same stamps as I've used with the main demo. So I hope you've enjoyed that. You can find um, everything that we've used uh, on my website juliewattscrafts.co.uk for shipping to UK addresses. If you want your fairy hug stamps and you're outside of the UK then you can go to fairyhugs.com. So thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye!